All right, good morning, Chair Postman, Board Members Garrett and Hauge. Uh, the lobby is open and the recording has begun. Thank you, Dustin. Good morning, everybody. We'll call to order the Board Caucus meeting for Tuesday, December 14th, 2021. I've uh, uh, got a quick agenda. The first item is uh, the uh, Executive Management Team meeting minutes from the November 10th, 2021 meeting. This was a meeting that uh, Member Garrett was on leave for, so a motion to approve, Member Hauge? Uh, I will move approval of the EMT minutes. And I second and approve. Uh, and then uh, approval of our board caucus minutes from uh, December 7th, uh, 2021 meeting. A motion for approval? I'll move approval. And I second. And approved. Thank you. Um, and that's the end of our official business. So board member and executive assistant reports. Um, I had a couple of things I wanted to, to mention. Um, one just a, a, a quick yesterday I did a ride along with Officer uh, Percy Williams from our uh, cannabis enforcement team and we went to uh, producer processor, uh, a large grower and a retail store. Um, first time I've had a chance to, to do a ride along on the cannabis side. Um, First of all, just uh, kudos to uh, Officer Williams. Boy, what a, a consummate professional, an Army vet who got out and chose uh, to, to come to the uh, LCB several years ago. Um, everywhere we went, people, and I saw this on the alcohol ride along too, and you both probably have had this experience already, but um, the licensees, you know, are are glad when he walks through the door. Um, they don't, they, and and they just, load them with questions like they're really looking to get answers so they can comply the officer is working hard to give them what they need or tell them how to get it and also they all are also interacting with the uh, 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 cannabis compliance consultants um, and so they're able to do this kind of team uh, uh, approach to these things and um, you know it was just a one day uh, visit with three but boy in in these examples it sure seems to be working well and people seem to be getting what they need in terms of uh, guidance, uh, not at all feeling like, uh, you know, the agency is out to trap them or anything, but uh, um, that uh, one of the other things is they're all, um, you know, th they had a little bit of uh, uh, struggles with the new uh, traceability system, the CCRS, uh, but all were very understanding of, um, you know, the, 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 where we're at on it. Uh, one of them is using a third party integrator and basically said, Hey, you know, they're taking care of it and it'll be okay. Uh, they welcome the change. I would say, uh, they're looking forward to getting to that, uh, kind of maintenance level of it. But, um, I was really impressed. The other thing that, that is interesting with this producer processor, uh, that we visited, they have a tier one and a tier two, um, uh, license and then also the the processing facility. Uh, they're expanding what they're doing. Business is really slow out there right now. Everybody told me that this time of year. It's just really the shelves are bare um, and uh, people aren't buying a lot at this point. And so everybody slows down. Um, but this one business at least really looking to um, uh, expand their operation. They're buying new equipment, this sort of incredible high tech stuff both in the lab and in the packaging world so hey anyway, i was it was really interesting and and um it's just always valuable to get out there for me and to see these things in real life first time i'd actually seen a large grow too you know to go into one of those rooms and see 1200 1400 plants and each one of them tagged and what they do and go through the rooms it was really it was something i'll tell you so um i really enjoyed that um and again, uh, kudos to Officer Williams and, and, and the work he does out there. Um, the other thing I wanted to, to chat about, and, and I think you both have talked to staff about this, I hope, is that there's been a lot of conversation among uh, uh, the two legislative committees that oversee us um, about a, a proposal that we uh, had heard bits and pieces about to uh, uh, remake the board of the LCB and rather than just the three of us would expand it to add, um, I believe, uh, two more um, voting members uh, like us and then um, three or four legislators as um, uh, ex officio members, sort of along the lines of what our gambling commission does. Um, in one bit of editorial comment, I would say clearly, you know, the 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 effect of that 
don't know the intent, but the effect of that is to um, dilute any power or authority the three of us have um, and um, uh, puts the legislature in a, a very hands on role, which there really in, is no place in, in state government that I know of because the Gambling Commission doesn't meet twice a week like we do, um, you know, and and uh, ha doesn't have the sort of hands on management. So anyhow, we've been trying to get more information about this. The proposal comes from the uh, Washington Canada Business uh, Association. Um, and uh, we've had staff reach out to their director to ask for details. The only thing we were given was those numbers of who would, how many would be added. Um, we've heard from uh, people in the governor's office and legislators um, who have been contacted by uh, WACA. And um, it was interesting, some of it was, at first, the, the reasoning we were told it, it kind of varied. The first thing I heard uh, from somebody who had talked to Waka was um, that we needed help. The three of us needed help because of our uh, uh, Open Public Meetings Act. You know, we don't talk except when we're in public meetings. We don't talk about policy or procedures or votes or anything. And that adding people would allow board members to have conversations outside of a public meeting that again editorial comment we don't need that we do our business in public and it seems to work really well i think the three of us will agree there's times where it's frustrating it's awkward but it's what the law is and i think it serves us really well to just force these conversations out in the public it's great so that was one then the other reason for it was uh, that it was to help us because um our uh workload had grown so much uh since cannabis was uh legalized that we needed help and um you know uh, the the agency would love to have help i'm sure in lots of ways more board members is not where i would prioritize um that staffing need um i don't think that the three of us are overworked uh in terms of of workload so i don't really buy that um then one of them was uh, uh a key legislator told me that it was uh because our enforcement uh regime still is too um uh, aggressive on the cannabis side and too many you know uh, severe penalties you know w the facts show just the opposite and and i was i wish i could bring up this uh, graph just so we could all look at it but you know when you look at those numbers that director brady shares with us uh, uh at our emt meetings um you can see where and you all did this before i got here <clears throat> turn the direction around of, of the enforcement approach that we do. And I think it's working really well. Um, and um, we, we're we we're leaning on the side of education. So that reasoning doesn't really, you know, carry any weight with me. And so I don't know, I guess, you know, I'm just to just say, I don't know what really is motivating it. I do know what the effect will be. Um, legislators we've talked to haven't seen anything in writing yet. Um, uh, we know that uh, WACA is looking for sponsors of the legislation. Um, and so we're just trying to get, you know, conversation with legislators, answer any questions they might have. Um, and then my questions to them always is what, you know, what is the reason? Why are we doing this? You know, what what would be the benefit of it? And, um, you know, again, it just, I, I just think the best thing for us to do is just to try to answer questions about it and, and have open conversation about it. I obviously don't think it's necessary and don't think it's uh, uh, motivated by, um, you know, a desire to help the three of us uh, ease our uh, workload. So I don't know if you have uh, thoughts on that or have heard anything in addition to that. I mean, I've all I would say, well, I said, if anybody is trying to help us, they haven't asked me how to do it. They haven't asked our director how to do it. I don't know if either of you have heard from anybody uh, at WACA asking, you know, what would be the best thing they could do to help us. I, uh, I uh, you're saying, saying exactly, exactly what I was going to say, David. If, if anyone, anyone thought we need any help, help nobody has asked us. Yeah. So I don't know where that would be coming from if no one has talked to us yeah okay. i just heard about it for the first time last week thursday or something mm, okay russ well uh my perception is that it seems like 
perhaps the concern is that we're doing too much work. Uh, <laughs> and again, nobody's asked me for what kind of help I need or what kind of help the board needs or what kind of help enforcement needs or what kind of help the management team needs. Uh, what they've been talking about, what I've heard secondhand, is uh, that uh, some people want to change fundamentally how the market in Washington works. Mm -hmm. And this is a step down that road, I believe. Uh, change the way it works so that we cut out the farmers, so that we can use uh, Delta 9 derived from hemp to supplant the hard work of the people that we granted licenses to as producers and processors. Uh, and I think it's pretty transparent. Yeah, you know, and, and I never want to address motive, but, you know, we're not getting answers to the question of why. And, and it is true that that debate is going on at the same time. And and the 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 association that is promoting this dilution of the board's power is the one that is pushing for more of of the, um, you know, converted product and things of that sort. Um, and that's a debate, you know, we will have, you know, we're, we're, we're waiting for the final approval on our uh, agency request legislation. And, and I think that's already set to be a major debate. And I think we're all happy to have that debate. I think the, the work that, that we've done in the agency to find the right path in that legislation was not easy, but I think we found the really great spot to be in and let's have that debate. But I don't know that we really need to debate whether we need, you know, five board members plus four legislators, you know, looking over our shoulder. And when I talk to legislators, it's kind of difficult. I don't want to say to them, we don't need you. <laughs> we don't want you. But that changes our dynamic. This is not a that sort of board. This is a a, a work a day kind of board. Um, and um, I wouldn't want to see uh, it expanded to that thing. I'm not sure what we would do. So and I would just ask if either of you do hear of anything, um, you know, let Rick know and and uh, he's he's keeping an eye on this and I'll do the same. And like I said, we'll just keep having the conversation. And if there is a bill, we'll go to the legislature during the session and talk about our view of it as well and see what we can do. So. Um, and that's my report. Anything more from anybody else? Either you have any? Yeah. Russ. Uh, uh, over the last uh, weekend, uh, I think it was on uh, Friday, I got a call from uh, Director Brady. Uh, one of our enforcement officers had been involved in the collateral enforcement operation. Uh, he was <laughs> on duty and uh, apparently uh, a witness to a carjacking attempt or several carjacking attempts. Uh, his car, which was government car, but unmarked, was attempted to be carjacked. Uh, the officer displayed remarkable professionalism and restraint, uh, refraining from a violent intervention. He activated his emergency equipment, scared the would-be jacker off, and uh, followed him and aided uh, the relevant law enforcement agency in apprehending him. At least that's the story that, as I understand it, I want to say two things. First off, I really appreciate Director Brady taking the time to call us and mm -hmm. let us know that this happened. And I can't say enough good things about the uh, actions of the officer as uh, described to me by Director Brady. I think that was an outstanding piece of professional police work. And uh, I think all people and all the enforcement agencies should be proud of that. Yeah, thanks for bringing that up. Yeah, it was uh, Officer Alex uh, Everson, and and um, uh, I actually was able to do a ride along with him early on. A great guy, and um, like I said, just super quick thinking, and and uh, was w involved himself uh, in that to to head off what sounded like a really um, out of control situation. So yeah, it was it was you know these are police officers, you know, <laughs> and and. Even though it was not an LCB thing, that's what they do. And so, yeah, thanks for, for bringing that up, Russ. Um, and I know Director Brady is listening in, and she uh, should pass on all of our thanks to Alex for that uh, quick work. Um, okay, with that, uh, we will adjourn. And I don't 
think, well, let's, what are we doing next week? Do we have anything on the calendar, uh, Dustin? I think not. I think we've, uh, there you yeah, are, Dustin. Chair. Um, as far as public meetings go, we don't have anything on the docket until January 4th. Um, okay. If anything comes up, I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody's available. I know Ollie's going to take off the last week of the month. Uh, I'm off next week. Cindy's off the following week. Uh, kind of rotating just to make sure that we we have staggered uh, availability, but we're we're all around if things are needed. Um, okay. Outside of that, uh, I think this afternoon you'll discuss with Tanea and the attorney generals as far as uh, litigation review calendar. Oh, right. Uh, yeah. You know, not not they're not open to the public, of course, but as far as calendars go, um, we don't have anything um, pending until we okay. uh, Zoom in the new year. Right. Okay. Yeah, I will uh, uh, be in town the whole time, too, if anybody needs me uh, at any point. But um, OK, well, with that said, no, we will uh, see you in the public uh, after the first of the year. Happy New Year. Have a great holiday. And um, Russ and Ollie, too, I hope you guys get some time down with family and uh, we'll all come back supercharged. Right. <laughs> OK. Thank Have a good you. day. We will adjourn the board Bye -bye. caucus meeting. Bye, everybody.